Yo, coming to you straight from the van, the murder mobile, the dragon wagon. It's your boy Josh, this is JS Urban Adventures, and I got myself a van. So I'm gonna take you through it, tell you some ideas I have for it, and get it vacuumed out, and uh, hope you guys enjoy, check it out. Station. Free vacuuming. I hope this is legit. Alright, so it's a 2001 Dodge. It's got like 120,000 miles. It's got some rust. It's got some paint issues. The roof is kind of rusty, but it's a big old van. Already has the square over here on the back for where you put a fan in. Ugh, right there. So there's going to be a fan going in right there. No plates. I'm driving around with no plates. It's not good. Not good at all. Tires are rough. I'm gonna need to get new tires for it. It had a spare that was brand new. So we threw that spare on the uh, front driver's side. The tires are real rough. They're from like 2011, 2013. Engine's great. Brakes are a little rough. It's got some uh, anti-lock brake system problems. And the suspension is probably needs some work too, but I'm gonna be learning how to work on all that stuff. Today I'm just gonna be vacuuming it out. All right, I'll take you in it right now. So basically, biggest problem I have right now is these three bench seats. This one doesn't match, but if anybody needs bench seats and you wanna pay for the shipping, which I believe would be a lot of money because these things are heavy, I'll send them to you. You just pay the shipping. Everything on this seat is uh, being sold or given away to friends. This is a uh, bulk Dragon Ball cards and stuff that I just, I don't need all the bulk. I don't need all the decorative boxes and stuff so I can sell all these boxes and play mats and make a little money off of it. So this stuff I'm getting all out of here. The seats I'm getting all out of here. My backpack for all my camping supplies are in there. And then this is where I was, actually this row is where I'm sleeping last night. So you just put a pillow here so your feet can go on this wheel well. And then this row, it's not super comfortable. I would rather lay long ways so I could fit because uh, I'm six foot one, six foot. So from here to here, I'm like just fit. So I want to lay long ways, but let's go check out the back. Gotta get rid of those seats. Monday, it's sun, It's uh, Saturday right now. I got this thing Friday afternoon. First thing Monday, I'm gonna get it registered so I'll have plates, it'll be all registered up. I got my stuff back here just in bins. Went to Walmart and got some just, some stuff to make it nice, clean it up. Oh, <laughs> I got a window blocker. So this big window right here, where I like will be, uh, temporarily I'll be laying on this bench sleeping. I'm going to put this in the window, block that, and uh, tomorrow we'll use this stuff, we'll get it washing, washed up and smelling nice, but for now I got to vacuum it. I guess I'm just going to vacuum every area except this area, unless I want to take all this stuff out, which I really don't want to do. I'm going to start vacuuming up. Yeah, I didn't show you guys the, uh, the captain area yet. So there's my longboard. It's actually pretty nice up here. All the dash and everything is nice. There's a nice Bluetooth stereo here already installed for me. There's a dash cam that goes up there, but since it doesn't have, I bought an SD card for it today because when there's no SD card in it, it turns on and turns off and turns on and turns off and goes beep, 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 beep every two seconds. Super annoying, so I got a little cheap SD card that I can throw in that. I took it off because it's not on there right now. It, it clips up, up on that and then the uh, USB plugs into it. I took it off last night because I was trying to sleep and it kept beeping because there's no SD card. Uh, I don't know why it was doing that, but yeah, so we'll get that fixed up and we'll have a uh, dash cam, you know. Oh, and I got back there, I didn't, I didn't show you, but I got a thing to put up here in the windshield today too. Just a bunch of little stuff. I got to save most of my money to get registered and to get insurance and, you know, just save money in general. So I'm just buying little stuff right now. 
and uh, we're gonna make it as cheap as possible but we got roll-up windows but you know it's not too bad the stereo is nice there's also a, um, a mic right here because it's got I think it's this thing is so your phone can hook up to it and you know you can take calls and stuff 119,000 miles and uh, yeah it's a pretty good deal got it for 1200 bucks so you know and it runs we're gonna run it to the wheels fall off like I had a bad day of sales on Mag Crew and I have to vacuum out the van. That's what I feel like right now. Uh, this van feels so much like I'm on Mag Crew again, driving around in one of these big 15 passenger vans. Wild. This is gonna take forever, guys. For real. everything thrown in the back and I'm vacuuming and uh, decided I'm just gonna make this video about doing the in interior cleaning the interior detailing and then I'll make the next video about washing the outside so this will be just, just be a short video but here's the uh, red white and blue windshield uh, cover thing that I got so that people can't look in the window most of the back windows are tinted pretty dark so as long as that one's covered and that one's covered and I park so that that window is facing the street and this window is facing, you know, the side of the road or whatever. I should be all right sleeping in here. Got some upholstery cleaner for the, eventually all this carpet and all this paneling and stuff is gonna come out in the back. But I want the carpet up front in the cab and the driver's area to be clean. And for now, I need the carpet to be clean in the whole van because I'm gonna keep the carpet in for a while. So I get, you know, new structure in here, you know, frame it and all that stuff. This carpet's gonna be in here till then, so I'm gonna clean it with this. And then I just got some, some trees, some glass wipes, and some, uh, you know, for the dashboard and all the plastic stuff and the leather, I'll just wipe it up with these. So I can get it smelling nice and, and looking nice and being clean in here. You know, it's a, a time right now in the world where we need to be clean, we need to be hygienic, and uh, so I'm gonna be doing the best I can while living in a van, keeping it clean. So, uh, you know, keep that immune system strong. We don't worry about getting sick out here. All right, guys, so I got pretty much everything vacuumed out, except for that back cab area where all my stuff's at. So I'm gonna take it out, set it on the ground, and vacuum back in there. But uh, now I'm gonna show you couple spots that I'm just gonna hit with the carpet cleaner right there there's something but everything back behind this line back behind the cab is gonna be coming out of here eventually so it's not a big deal but I'm gonna get it a little clean but the stuff up here you know those little spots I'm gonna scrub those out then I'm gonna wipe down the dash and everything ASMR. All right, now I'm gonna use these uh, Armor All vehicle wipes. And just wipe down everything, wipe out all the cup holders and all the pockets and just have everything looking all crisp, crispy clean. Once I'm done with that, 
I'll hit the glass with the glass wipes, the inside of the glass, and I'll do the outside of the glass, of course, when I wash when I wash the uh, van. And I've already been here for like an hour and a half, so <laughs> I've been here for a minute. Hopefully, I'll be done soon. Well, I just took everything out of the van so that I could uh, vacuum up this back area. I got all the rest vacuumed up. Everything's wiped down. Haven't done the windows yet, but I uh, was just gonna vacuum all this and they shut the vacuums off, so that's not gonna happen. What y'all know about blueberry country time lemonade? This stuff is bomb. I got a little 12 pack. Been drinking this stuff all day, it's so good. hours the place is all closed up I didn't even finish vacuuming everything but the van's looking pretty nice and clean I'm gonna head to McDonald's and get some dinner thank you guys so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please hit the subscribe button hit a little thumbs up you know ring the bell so you get notifications every time I put a video up sorry I haven't put a video out in so long guys hopefully now I can get back on my grind and make some more videos and We'll start a whole new series about this van life thing. I hope you enjoyed the little preview of the van. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see. Give me any tips and pointers about, you know, how to build this thing out. Keep it lightweight. Keep it stealth. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Janice Urban Adventures. I'm going to go get some McDonald's. I haven't been to McDonald's since, because I just now got a car. I haven't been to McDonald's since this whole lockdown thing started. So now I can go through the drive through I'm about to get a Big Mac. Oh, yeah. Peace out, guys. Jay Serving Adventures. Oh, I hate when they give me fries like that. That's a large fry. What kind of joke is this? And a hot and spicy. Big Mac fries and hot and spicy. If anybody says, why are you eating so much, Josh? It's intermittent fasting. This is my only meal of the day.